Hello, everyone. This is Stacy Robinson with Fruitful Living. I wanted to share a, um, a quick read that I went over this morning. And, um, and it's, it says this. Uh, we need to go back to the wrongs and shortcomings and sins we identified in our principal four inventories. Remember, falling down doesn't make us a failure. It's staying down that makes us a failure. Uh, God doesn't just want us to admit our wrongs. He wants to make us right. He wants to give us hope and a future. God doesn't just want to forgive us. He wants to change us. We need to ask him first to remove these character defects that are causing us this, the most pain. Ask him today and be specific. Now, I'm reading the recovery Celebrate Recovery Study Bible. And um, I first uh, started looking uh, for a large print Bible for a single mom. and um, But also just listening to her, I thought, you know, Celebrate Recovery would be great because we all have hang-ups and, and things that just um, block us from changing for the better. And so I came across this Bible, and I thought I'd give it sh a try. So I've been reading it myself, and, um, you know, we all have something to recover from in life because uh, that's life. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you, um, and it reminded me of a, a, a bookmark that I came across. I think I was, in my, I was a teenager, and it, it stuck with me because, you know, at that point, I, was, I didn't have a lot of, um, I didn't fall yet. I hadn't hit the hit rock bottom just yet for the first time. And so, but it stuck with me because it said uh, my name. It was my name, S-T-A-C-E-Y. And then it said uh, the meaning of it, the meaning of my name was to rise again. And I thought, oh, that's awesome. Because if I fall down, if I get hurt, you know, as a kid, I would just get up. You know, I, I would I would get hurt. I mean, I got a scar from climbing a barbed wire fence. I don't know if you can see that, but I was in first grade and uh, we all decided to go check out the minefields, uh, oil mines. And um, we uh, went out there. I climbed barbed wire fence like a big dummy. And my arm went straight into the barbed wire fence. <laughs> and I, it hurt. It hurt, and it was rusty barbed wire. And I remember walking home, and my sister Michelle, she was two years younger than me. I was in first grade, so, you know, just you can imagine. She was so sweet and adorable. I was just, I was, I was crying and holding my arm, and she was like, it's okay. It's okay. Mommy, go fix it. Mommy, go fix it. Because, you know, our mom's a nurse, you know. So, you now we were, I was just in so much pain. But... I did not climb that barbed wire fence, at least not the same way. I was very cautious after that. <laughs> um, but the point is that, you know, when I saw what my name meant on this bookmark, I mean, it changed my life. And the fact that it was on a bookmark was pretty awesome because, you know, I love to read. And, um, and I stopped that passion for a while. I just kind of got tied up in other life things and, you know, I... But here I am reading again, learning. So um, it's just awesome. So I uh, shared a couple of stories with you there. Um, but you know what? If you want a new um, Bible uh, for devotional time, Celebrate Recovery Study Bible has, I believe there are eight principles in this book. And it's, it's in line with sort of like the 12 steps in the AA, but it's, um, you know, it's based on biblical uh, righteousness and God's way. So um, check it out. Check it out. It's something new. And, uh, and picking up a new book, is, is it's worth it, especially the Bible. And um, But I thank you for watching and listening to my little stories. So uh, you have a wonderful Saturday. I know I will. I am in the middle of watching Indiana Jones uh, Marathon. There's a couple of them on Amazon Prime. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.